Okay, hey there guys, I know it's been a couple days, a week, I don't know how long it's been since my last war video, so I'll just give you a quick little lay down. So, um, after that last war that I posted, I think it was the last war, LVT decided to kind of just take the rest of the season a little bit lighter, we just weren't quite enjoying the tactic as an alliance, I think. So, decided they just going on a little bit lighter of a season for the rest of it, as I believe what's happening. I don't think I was not supposed to say anything about that. I wasn't told not to, so I'm going to say it. So, um, yeah. So I just got behind on some life stuff, and I was like, well, these aren't really, like, wars that I'm, like, 100% going in, so I'm not going to, like, force myself to post. Like, it's just a sign-up sheet, and we're signing up for whatever fights we have, and I've just been signing up at, like, the last second, taking the final, like, two, four fights of war. Um, so this one, yeah, started out with Quake there for that thing, I was deciding if I wanted to take it with something else, but I'm just like, you know what? I don't want to have to, like, think about what the right counter would be and stuff. And I had to take, like, two fights this war or something. It was actually kind of funny. So I was like, I'm just going to quake this with a white Magneto pre-fight, and that will be pretty quick. It won't be too bad. Get some nice quake practice in. And, of course, the offs, pretty much the, you know, time I'm not trying, I do a better quake fight than when I was trying. I got better AI. I was doing, like... 20 sacks of aftershocks i know domino with nimrod this season can definitely be a bit finicky and i took this earlier in the season but for that one i was like fully boosted and so i had like a power start one i had suicides going and stuff like that but on this one i don't have any of those luxuries of like a power start one because i want to build them back up just not to have to use them the lucky i got lucky that she didn't punish me after her lucky evade there and i get sp2 here just gonna throw it right, right away these incinerates are definitely chunking me down but i wasn't too concerned she throws it while she's far away from her sp1 so i get a pretty casual dex i'm pretty comfortable dexing the can from her and because i'm a robot i don't get unlucky so i don't have to worry about not being able to dex it even then i think i'd feel fairly comfortable in actually getting off like a parry on it because right you can always just parry the the daunted unblockable with any champion so right here what I'm doing is I'm just pairing a couple times right there, going to go for the heavy. And what I should do here, what I should have honestly done is done a full combo into Relic. But I think I was worried if she got lucky that she would evade something. So I just played it a little bit slower, just went for a couple heavies, decks and extra XP1. Into this second war, I think, of us being a little bit lighter up against DSVG. And for this one, I actually have a couple boosts going, but... I just wanted to kind of see how, like, Havoc would kind of do for this stuff. So I'm like, well, I'll throw on a couple boosts. Like, I'll get a power back boost going because it's just 10k loyalty. Like, it's really not that big of a deal at this point in the game, I feel like, for me just to blow a couple boosts like that. I don't buy too much from the loyalty store anyway right now. It needs definitely a big change there. So my plan here is lots of mediums if I start taking too much damage. But I'm like, I shouldn't take too much. And the other big thing is I don't want to throw i don't want to like lose all of my damage without getting power back by pushing him over like his real life by throwing an sp3 and i do like two percent damage and i don't get power back so right around here i'm like trying to decide how i want to do this if i'm going to throw an sp2 or if i'm going to continue going to the sp3 and i think what i'm going to decide yeah i go for the sp3 because he has plenty of health left a lot a lot of health left so i go for the relic going to push him up here i want to bait out this sp2 first I want to bait out the SP2 first, just so that I can build up a couple plasmas to make sure I kill his 59% here. And I don't want to push him up to an SP3, so I'm going to push him up just around the SP1 here. So that way, after I come out of the SP3, he'll have two bars of power, so I can get an easy dex off on that. It's kind of how I was going for this, and as you're going to see, it's going to push him all the way down to 3%. So it's good that I waited that little bit longer, which gives me two bars of power, and he's you know, he's Nick Fury, so he's turtling here. So I'm trying to decide what I want to do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw my SP2 because I have the power back, and it's going to put me back up to where I was. But it's just going to speed up his degen. Um, so I, I thought that was a pretty worth it move because I have... If I could throw it right then, I would have had 6 prowess, but I don't have that quite yet. So I'm like, okay, let's just try this with the 5. I'm like, this should do a lot of damage. I have a little bit of boosts going, and it's still a Havoc SP3. And I seem to have made the right call, so the 5 prowess did a fair bit of damage there, actually. And how much did that first SP3 do? Did I cut that out? Uh, kinda. Looked like a bit over 100k. So then I'm also going to use Havoc for this Doom here. 
I probably could have used any of my champions for this doom if I'm being honest because it's just aggression prowess doom yeah so all these champions would have actually probably been fine because I could have gone for magma form or black uru on abs and I would have had either energy resistance or shock immunity right there I take a full combo at the very start very poor and right there I wanted to try to get a heavy off so I could keep my 10 plasmas up I was kind of okay with eating the combo there because I wanted to actually get these plasmas up going really really quickly on him and it was not meant to go like this though where I'm just like eating every special kind of same thing with like last season like I'm just not taking these under like ideal situations or like trying in an ideal manner like going a little bit light like fighting really late fighting tired fighting rushed this things like that so that was a triple prowess into the block obviously I'm not going to just block that there would have been nice if I could have gotten the SP3 off while I had the 10, but I'm looking, I'm like, well, what do I want to do here? I actually thought about eating that SP1 to the face, so I get extra plasma, I get the shock on me, but that was not worth it, so I'm like, okay, we're gonna throw this SP3 here, just get space, or kill him. But it should kill him, because right with how much it did to Nick Fury, but I have more plasmas up, so I'm like, okay, let's see what this does. Leaves him on 1%, kind of annoying that it left him on 1% if I'm being honest, but... Finish him off still pretty casually there. Going up into section 2, I'm going to move over to path 9, and it's going to be a global storm that I'm going to take with Ghost, actually. And I, th I actually kind of liked this Ghost fight, just like how I actually like, played it, because I don't I haven't used Ghost in a really long time. I think the last time I like used her in a Master's War, I died, actually. It was to a Mojo, I think. So Shock Bleed here with Power Focus 2, which I didn't respect how much Power Focus 2 could actually come into play here. Because I also get some bad RNG, because what I, w I got caught in two minds of going for my max power rotation and not getting enough damaging debuffs. Right here, you're going to see him like, shoot, I need to do a couple hits, and I just don't get any on that final combo, so I throw it. I kind of panic and throw it, so I'm like, shoot, that did nowhere near enough. And I know I can't use my phase until she throws it, and I'm able to actually just phase the whole thing through the Daunted. So that was nice. Really, really good because that would have nuked me down so hard. I just would have full died. Like, she has so many prowess. So right here, I'm pretty confident in dexing her SP1, so I'm kind of trying to see if she'll throw that. She does, and I'm able to go for another combo where I actually get three debuffs, and you're going to see how much this first hit does. Just a completely different story from that first one. I also didn't even have a power back boost on for that, so even if it had been an actual, like, war war, and I had, like, wasp and a power back, that obviously would have been a bit different as well. Right, when you set yourself up fully for a ghost fight, it's just very different. And for here, I'm going in with the Black Uru because it's shock and bleed, so I'm just double immune. I underestimated a couple things, and as I said, I went in honestly with the wrong plan, actually. I was trying out a couple new things, because a friend pointed something out to me in one of the comments of my videos, where you can actually punish his heavies, their heavies, I think, with the light to pause your form which I did not realize. So right here at the very start, I'm like, okay, I need to go for intercepts to pause. And I'm like, wait a second. I have the shocks and stuff, so I still try to go for an intercept, but I'm thinking about too many different things. And now he's at an SP1, and I just eat another combo for free, and I'm just like, okay, let's throw my SP1. And I'm like, wait, <laughs> it's unblockable technically. I kind of forgot about that. So it gives him all of his charges, so he's unblockable. But still, this fight's going fine. I parried him, so I had to wait, and it did... 25% of my health. I eat another combo and he finishes that combo, so that kills me really hard. I'm just like, oh my gosh. That wasn't even like super like poor plan. It was just like super, super poor play. Like insanely poor play, because you're gonna see how quickly Abs does this fight this time, actually. When I just play, because I was also still thinking I had to go for too many intercepts there, like to try to pause my form, when realistically all I have to do is just hit him right because it's shock and bleed so as long as i get a trigger on any shock or bleed i'm gonna pause as i am right now and i'm just taking it nice and slow it's kind of weird i feel like i'm sometimes better at dexing his sp2s than his xp1 <gasps> right there i go for the intercept to shrug off his fury just so i don't get like a parry from it and what i actually do is i when i he blocks it what i go for is i do the sp1 through his block because i'm unblockable when i'm refined right and so I was able to just kind of bypass that and just kind of keep going. It's just kind of like one of those slow and steady type fights. Like, as long as I don't play how I did in that first one, like, 
this fight's so easy. You're going to see, like, how much damage I'm going to do here, like, when I get my relic off and stuff. Because, yeah, then I go for the relic. Going to go in for another... Oh, I'm going for a heavy. I shouldn't have really done the heavy there. I should have just done combo SP1. It would have killed. But, yeah. So that's how the first two or three wars, whatever that was. I think just two. I just took the third war last night. I don't even know what's exactly happening. It's just been really, really crazy recently. So thank you guys for coming by and watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope your guys' seasons are all still going well. I'll see you guys soon, though. Bye.